Look, unbelievable. Welcome back to another video of DFC products. Uh, today with us is Dino Crescentini. He's our parts guy. I'm the sales guy, Dan. We're going to talk to you about something so groundbreaking. It's our new DFC 4000 hybrid dynamic pads. Now, we are so excited because it's something that really took us a long time to develop. And it's something that's next generation. It's really, truly the first thing out there that's like this. Do you know if, um, if you can tell us more about this pad? I, I know it's, um, it kind of hits a lot of different things for a cost conscious pad. Uh, if you can walk us through maybe some of the challenges, you know, that you, that you faced in developing this pad, maybe take us back to how we got to the point where to develop this pad. Sure. Well, the, the most important thing to remember is uh, we saw coming up very quickly is the fact that the federal mandates of removing copper from all friction materials was, was about to hit. So 2024, 2025, everyone's got to think about getting rid of the copper out of the friction material completely. Mm -hmm. So one thing that really uh, came to light was that the existing paradigm of using uh, ceramic and semi-metallic uh, for, for these types of vehicles were really going to go out the window. So we had to come up with something that would work for all vehicles and work exceptionally well for all vehicles in a cost conscious uh, consumer uh, type product. Right. right? So uh, we did a lot of development. In fact, development for this program was actually more difficult than some of the premium things that we do because the premium ones are easy. You know, you, you get the very best materials, you don't worry about cost and mm -hmm. away you go. Yeah. So this was not that because, you know, you can imagine people come into the shop and they're looking for their best deal, but they don't want any problems. Yeah. The, 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 the service writer doesn't want any problems. No one wants any problems. So, so it, it took a lot of development. And what we ended up with was something that was a hybrid of the typical ceramic and the typical semi-metallic pad. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something that over time we, we worked with the, you know, the different suppliers to get exactly what we needed and at, at the right price. So, and, and the side benefit of that is whereas before we would have, and the market still has really, uh, a typical semi-metallic for one application and, and maybe for the same application as ceramic, we were able to bas basically take all that guesswork out and only offer one material that works across the board for, for all these vehicles. So for some of our viewers that, that maybe aren't familiar with those old paradigms that you're talking about, if you go way back, all pads were semi-metallic, right? And then the new technology that came out was ceramic and it was supposed to be the fix-all, we'll take care of all your problems, and everybody went over to ceramic, but that wasn't the case, right? It wasn't the fix-all for every application. And you ended up with uh, brake pad manufacturers offering two flavors for the same vehicle, semi-met, semi-metallic, and ceramic. Yeah, the problem is one of those might have been the wrong choice. Might have been the wrong right. choice, right? So, yeah, right, because you know, you introduced that guesswork uh -huh. and, and that's what we, we also wanted to eliminate coming okay. out with this program. So, so now with the new mandate that come out, really you had two challenges. You had to find a formulation that was the right formulation for the vehicle. Right. That if you put it on, it's not gonna cause any problems and it had to be copper free to meet the regulations that are about to come up. Correct. Okay. So that's what was most difficult and still make it in a cost conscious envelope, something that's economical, but still meet all the demands of a premium pad. Yeah. And, in, and over and above that, you know, don't forget there's other components in a brake pad. There's the attaching hardware, mm. which you can't skip on. That's got to be premium. And, and the uh, attaching shims, okay. you know, the noise abatement shims. You can't, you know, there's some certain people, okay, they'll come out with something that's cost conscious, but maybe it's got a thinner metal or a softer metal that of course costs less. That's, we, we went, you know, full boat, premium on all those aspects of the product while still being able to offer, at, offer them at a very competitive price. So there's, there's really no compromises with it because a lot of people think, well, if I'm gonna get a, a pad that's priced lower, so there, I've, there's got to be some give somewhere, right? And right. usually it's noisy, but it lasts a long time. Or it's dusty, uh, but it's going to make some noise. It, you got to give somewhere, right? Right. And here what you're saying is no noise? No noise. H how's the dust? 
Very low dust. Okay. How about wear? Because that's, that's a lot of times. Or... Wear is exceptional because that's typically something that you can get usually two out of three. Okay. But we actually got very good wear performance from these as well. Okay. I think everyone's going to be very, very satisfied. I think the consumer is going to be exceptionally satisfied. Uh, I know we're satisfied. So, so we're going to meet all the regulations. There's going to be no compromises. You can install it with confidence so you don't get a comeback. And your customers will be happy. So thank you very much for introducing this. Thank you for creating it for our customers. Thank you for having, you know, allowing for me to sell it because that way, you know, it's easy to sell something that's just this good that meets all the demands of our customers. And uh, it really truly is groundbreaking. So DFC 4000 hybrid dynamic. Give it a shot. Thank you.